Resignation of RIPTA's CEO, Scott Evadesian, could become official. The board is holding a special meeting to vote on it. Joe Cortez joins us now live in studio with the latest on this saga that all seems to have begun in a drive through line. Yeah, and it's been about two weeks since that incident occurred. Evadesian sent in his resignation last week. Now, although he sent in the resignation, he's still technically the CEO until they cast that vote, which is expected later today. Evadesian will be back in court later this month after pleading not guilty to leaving the scene of an accident. And his letter to the board last week, he asked to terminate his contract and pointed out a number of improvements at RIPTA during his tenure, but also saying, quote, regrettably, all these in initiatives are now being overshadowed by recent events. Police said that they found damage to his vehicle and his home after he allegedly got involved in a hit and run in the McDonald's drive through back on March 27th. Police say that Avedesian initially signaled for the other's drivers to pull into the parking lot and then took off. They had been back and forth over his condition while <coughs> driving the Ripta issued car at the time. Multiple witnesses told police he appeared to be intoxicated, but his defense attorney called the allegations a stretch. Now, Attorney General Peter Narona and his office are handling this case. As for the vote on his resignation, that is expected today and could become official. We'll have updates on air and online throughout the day on these developments. Live in studio, Joe Cortez, 12 News.